Hey, I thought I'd show you my Nerd Kit intervalometer that I made with nothing but a Nerd Kit and an IR LED that I bought at Radio Shack. An intervalometer is simply a remote control for your camera that takes pictures at a specified interval. You can use this to make things like time lapse photographs of really cool things like sunsets or flowers blooming or sunrises or snowfall, things like that. When I finished mine, I went ahead and made one that was permanent. I'm still working on it, but this is what it's going to look like. As you see, it's an Alcoids 10. It's got a power switch. It's got a mode switch. Trigger buttons right here. And you can see over here is the infrared LED, and then this is the indicator to let you know that the LED is firing. This right here is how you set the interval so that you can choose how long you want it to wait between pictures. In remote mode, Every time you press a button, it releases the shutter. This could be useful for maybe you're taking a family picture and you don't want to have to run back and forth to get into it. Uh, or maybe you want to take a picture that has a really slow shutter speed and camera shake will, will ruin the image. Uh, a remote works really well for that. When you're using the remote, you just have to make sure that it's close enough for the camera to see it through its IR sensor, and that's in different places on different cameras. On my camera, my D3000 and my D50, the infrared uh, sensor is right behind where your hand is when you're holding it, so you have to make sure your hand's not holding it that way. Um, of course, you're probably going to have it on a tripod anyway. It works up to about 10 or 11 feet. I haven't really gotten much further than that. I bet if I put more juice or more uh, IR LEDs, we could probably get a little further than that. But really, that's just about as far as I needed it anyway. The apartment was not quite finished yet, but you can see how it works by looking at the breadboard. You can make your own with the breadboard, or you can get your own Altoids 10 and a whole bunch of junk and put it together. My intervalometer includes a nerd kit, plus an infrared LED, plus um, a potentiometer that came out of a set of headphones. The one that comes with the nerd kit will work, but it has to be adjusted with a screwdriver. It's kind of inconvenient. Also, these two switches came out of old headphones as well. Your nerd kit has switches that work just like these do. These are just single pole, double throw switches, but I use these because I like the ones in the nerd kit on my breadboard. That's why I kept them there. The trigger button. I'm using a different trigger button just because I didn't like the way the Nerd Kit's trigger button looked. It's big and bulky and ugly and red, and so I went ahead and just used a small one that I had got off of DigiKey for like 59 cents. The software for the intervalometer is, isn't super complex. Uh, if you read through it, you'll see exactly how it works. Basically, you turn the intervalometer on, it sits there waiting for a trigger. Once you've pushed that trigger button, the next thing it does is it looks to see what mode it's in. If it's in remote mode, it just takes a picture and then waits for a button again. If it's in intervalometer mode, it checks the interval and sets it to whatever you have the interval set to, then it takes a picture, and then it waits until the interval has passed, takes another picture, and it just keeps looping like that through it until the battery dies. My camera is a Nikon D3000, and it turns off after 15 minutes if it hasn't heard from the remote, so the longest you can go on mine is a 15 minute interval. So with that in mind, I set my intervals up at 15 seconds, 30 seconds, 1 minute, 2 minutes, 3 minutes, 5 minutes, and 15, 10 minutes and 15 minutes. Um, and that's all adjustable in the software. The software can be switched to emulate Canon cameras infrared remotes as well. I didn't have one to test it with. I went ahead and, and wrote some code, but I don't know if it works or not. So if you have Canon and you want to try it out, let me know if it works. Well, I hope this has inspired you to take your nerd kit and make your own intervalometer. If you've got any suggestions, for changes in my code or my hardware, please let me know. I'd love to improve upon it. Go ahead and visit me at www.davislock.com.